Thanks, Monique. Um, it's really interesting, your book, because you, you know, as, as Barbara would say, you've put the, the pessimistic bit first, the pessimistic ending first, and then you've got the optimistic beginning. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got, you've, the, it follows this couple, um, Sabine mm -hmm. and, and George, is it? And uh, you see them in their sort of, in, the, in Trinidad, and you see their, their, the later half of their marriage first, and then you see their early, more optimistic phase. And I, I wondered, did you set out to do it like that, or did you just think halfway through, no, I'm just going to chop this in half? Um, Cut and paste. Uh, no, I had really thought this would be a great idea right from the start, and mainly because um, I just thought, well, it's here, there's a story, it starts here and it ends here. It's historical. There's some bio biographical material. Um, and if I just tell the story here and end it here, it'll just be, it'll be episodic. It'll be, it'll be like a kebab, you know. It'll just be like, this happened, that happened, that happened, that happened. And so I thought, I know what I'll do. I bet this has never been done before. I'll just <laughs> chop it in half and switch it round and see what happens. And, and, what, and then what happened was really unexpected because I was then faced with then having to knit these two, two blocks together um, and also, um, it g gives the book two endings. Yes. So you kind of open the book sort of in the middle-ish or towards mm. the end-ish, and you read to the middle, and then you have the end. And hopefully, the reader then thinks, oh, I must turn the page. Mm. Turns the page, and then you read to the end. So you have mm. kind of like two endings. I thought it was really clever. Yes, been done before. It, it really is clever. Yeah, it's very. Yeah. It's also very <laughs> poignant. Um, I think it works brilliantly. I mean, it's fantastically good, and it's also a wonderful. I mean, the Trinidadian Tourist Board should give this book, you know, to everybody oh, no. because once you read it, you really want to go to Trinidad. You make it sound politically horrible, but the most beautiful country. I mean, fantastic, wonderful people. Oh, thank you for saying that. Um, Trinidad is a very beautiful country. And the tourist board have more or less um, decided they don't want to have anything to do with this book. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Well, um, I want to go there, so clearly they're wrong. Anyway.